Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we are taking a look at Toad Circuit Reverse Trick Level for the second half of the Trick Tour. How to maintain a combo throughout and how to get a high score, giving you the best chance of getting first place on the Toad Cup. So, let's get into it. Driver Kart Glider, the usual setup today. When going in with this, we have only three high-end options. One super though, which hopefully most of us will have by now. Toad has the special skill triple mushrooms, which is amazing. You get that without a frenzy. You're getting one, two, three hits, one for every mushroom, and that's big points. So definitely a good one to have. Um, my currently is at level four, and I could invest to take it to level five, but we'll see whether I need to towards the end of the week. Uh, the other options include Toad Party Time, which has mushroom cannon. So good, all right, but you know much how much I hate it. Um, Lucky Seven, though, for me is on par with the Triple Mushroom. It's a great ability to have and huge if you get it as a frenzy. Otherwise, you've got Builder Toad, Bob Arm Cannon. I'd probably put that in last place in terms of, well, maybe equal with Mushroom Cannon. Let me know who you guys think is, is the best. But no brainer for me. Level 4 Toad is definitely what I need to go in with. Then when it comes to Kart, we've got plenty of options. And we've got three high ends, the newly um, available Clanky Kart, which will be in the second half of the spotlight for this one, this um, half of the trick tour, has a special skill of jump boost plus, which is pretty damn good for this level. Otherwise you've got Glam Cruiser with Slipstream plus or Cheer Mellow with Rocket Start plus. This is gonna be the best special skill that you can have, but you're probably not gonna have it as, as high a level as your um, commons. Baby Girl Rosalina is currently at level four for me. Uh, I could take it to level five, probably maybe, maybe if I get a couple more, if I did some spotlight launches, maybe I'd get some extra um, that would help towards buying that in the shop. I don't know. I don't think you can purchase that in the shop actually. So this one, one actually, I'd have to get tickets for. I think I'll get two towards the end of the tour. It might be a possibility, but Slipstream Plus versus Green Kitty Car and Rocket Start Plus. They're both bad options, really. I'm not going to be getting many slipstreams. Probably say I get more Rocket Start Plus than slipstreams because most of the time I spend first place. So Clanky Clark is a really good option. And you have 1.1 bonus points straight from the off, whereas even at level 4, you only get 1.1. So it's not that great, but you do have the times 3 bonus points boost with mine, uh, which makes it definitely way better as, a, as an option for for Bruno up a lot of points next we have gliders and we have four options we got the red shell with Yoshi's egg Hanafuda that's come up quite a fair bit in the past few tours uh, but I still never leveled it up red shell plus if you get a red shell frenzy it's a lot of points that you're going to be getting especially if you're like sixth um, or back of the pack now other options include fireworks parachute with bomb plus which is probably second to the red shell plus that you also get with heart balloons best option by far is going to be star shoot just because coin plus is going to rack you up a huge amount of points and you're going to be getting a lot of them throughout the the race if, especially if you're in first place so for me best setup would be uh i'd probably take daisy holiday cheer if it was the same level if it was level three i'd probably take it over over toad then I'd probably say cart, clanky cart, but only if you've got it uh, uh, maybe level two, comparable to level four. Um, and then glider, obviously star shoot. So let's get into these runs. Really, it's just about making best use of the things on the track. I just wanted to show you this, guys, because this, this is, I've never had this happen before. Have you ever had this? A frenzy with the mushroom, big giant mushroom, mushroom, giant mushroom. I don't know, it glitched out a little bit there, I think. I think something went wrong. Um, but yeah, that was just one of my runs. First time that's ever happened. So this first one, we are going to be showing, I believe, a yeah, non-stop combo. So this isn't my best run. This isn't my best run. This isn't my best run. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my best run. So uh, let's get into this. We'll go in at half speed after we've touched base. Any of them have coin box? That's the best thing if you've got an enemy with a, an opponent with coin box and they just spout them all over, especially if you've got a big mega mushroom. Right, so this one I'm opting for a rocket start, but I probably would recommend being that triple mushrooms is a potential. 
staying at the back of the pack. Plus, if you've got Red Shell Frenzy, if you're up first place, you're not going to be getting that realistically. Uh, so we pull out a bob -omb, plus straight from the off. And now I usually would take one of those pipes. I, I'd usually miss one just because I feel it sets you up nicer for this. The jump boost will give you a lot of free time to be able to um, get ready to, to maintain your combo with a boost. So get one mini turbo and you can get another mini turbo in here. So without the frenzy I'd still do that. Then coming off here, if you can just try and get an angle before you start so you're coming off like this. Now you've got loads of things there that you can get. I'm just going just gonna to slow it down to there. Loads of things that you can get to add to your multiplier. I didn't take advantage of it in this first lap. But look, we've got four traffic cones, four Goombas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jess is loud. Allow me to just stab it. Um, we've got loads of options here. <laughs> no. <laughs> four Goombas. You've got four traffic cones there. So the best way to take that then is you've obviously got to have a mushroom to be able to hit those Goombas. Or if you're in giant mega mushroom form, the, you, you don't have to worry about it but you're probably best to hit all those traffic cones so definitely try and get a turn on before the jump jump over and then hold it hold it hold it then go into the traffic cones and hopefully you'll hit those goombas as well whilst you hit the dash panel and you'll have to quickly adjust though to get yourself in play, in position to be able to catch this dash panel after that it's just a mini turbo to be able to link that up and then here a tip for taking these pipes is take them wide. Don't ever use a mushroom before going up one if you've got it. Hold it for after. So that would just mean that you catch them. See, I missed that. That's because I didn't take the third one wide. And then coming off over here, you probably want to try and start to get a left turn. Going into the make take advantage of those jump boost dash panels. That's like what 400 points almost just below. So definitely make sure that you hit all those. And then in, coming into the second lap, it's a little mini turbo boost before getting to there, holding your charge, and this is what I usually tend to do. Release my charge over here, and then start holding it, charge up a mini turbo. That means that I can take, usually would have get a mini turbo in before that, but I can take these wide, make sure I hit every single one. You are gonna lose a little bit of position in the race if you take them wide, but it's not too difficult to win this one. Then coming around the corner, as I say, see I got the turn in then just before I went around. There's actually no Goombas around me, so there's nothing to hit. Um, but could have taken advantage of the traffic cones. Then coming around here, so I'll try and take this, I think, a little bit wider. Oh, he takes it tight. So the first one, yep, see, because I didn't take it wide, I missed out on that. And we'll see in the second run, it's, there's a lot of points in that. So the difference is pretty huge. So we've had one frenzy in this run, a bob on frenzy. And we finish off using our item ticket. So this is really a track. Yeah, I like that nice little little defense against the uh, the red shell. To, to get a non-stop combo. It's a combo. So really what I just wanted to show you that you can get with a pretty crappy frenzy um, and a non-stop combo, you can get a fairly good score over 15,000. Uh, you are going to have to... Um, you know, you're not, you don't really have to worry about maintaining combo on this one. It is a very, very easy one. So, what it means though is when you get a frenzy, you should be looking at a pretty high score, depending on your setup going in. So let's run this at half speed as well, just so we can talk through it. So yeah, this is what I'd usually go for. You can get mini turbo in before that, especially if you like at the back of the pack. Here we've gone for a stall start, and then from that jump boost, you do have enough time to catch that first coin. If you've got the same setup as I do, then it's a turn, uh, mini turbo boost, or it's just or super mini turbo boost, and then gives you enough time to get over here. I'm gonna miss those mushrooms, but taking it wide means that I hit every single one of those jump boosts. Come around there, the mushroom gives me a little bit of time, just at the side of him, thankfully didn't hit the, red sh the green shell. Coming over here, as you can see, I just got, that's the best way to take it. Get an extra turn into it. And now I'm ready to go across all those traffic cones. There's none there though, so I just go for the um, the Goombas. I think I miss out on the dash panel though as a result of it. So have a little practice of that. Try taking out as much as possible there. Then come around here. 
Hopefully I take it a little bit wider. Okay, so there you can see it. I set myself up so that I'm taking that wide on the final one, which means I get an extra 104 points. I'm set up. Not great for this bit, but my main priority is getting to that dash panel jump boost. And I catch, managed to catch both of them, then land on two mushrooms, and then get another one off that guy's mushroom cannon. That's the thing, you get more mushrooms off other people's cannons. That's what I find, that's what I hate about it. So you're really giving them to the enemy. Then I have enough time to get to these coins. I pull a red shell frenzy, which is awesome because I'm getting 145 points. Now at this point, I want to slow down. Um, I, I don't do it the best way. Well, I suppose that tight angle does mean that people can overtake me, but I miss out on those jump boosts. So I don't think that was a good idea, but my, because I was, it, like, I think it was in third or fourth place, I wanted to try and get as many hits in with the red shell. It may have actually worked out. I'm not sure 100%, but we'll see. Um, right, so red shells coming around into here. Uh, things have been knocked over. The Goombas have only just starting to come out. It's not a great setup. I mess up that final dash panel. I get my mini turbo in. Ooh, maybe the item ticket helped me there. Uh, but yeah, see, I only I rarely use my item ticket anywhere before the middle, but before the end. So, see, don't take that wide. I definitely recommend using it somewhere in the mid packs just so you don't waste it unless you, if you've got a frenzy. Then we turn, that's probably the best way to take that final bit. And we finished the race at 10,000, which means anything over that, 6,381. Finished with a nice 16,896, very close to 17,000. That's with one red shell frenzy. So imagine what you'll get if you, I don't get a mushroom frenzy at the start, do I? Or did I? No. So imagine if you've got two frenzies, you're going to be getting a lot higher score. That's what I'll be going for. Hopefully getting a red shell and a mushroom or a mushroom and a coin frenzy. And targets for this week for that is probably, I'd say like 18 to 19,000, 18 and a half to 19,000. Uh, yeah, def definitely doable with the setup that I've got going in. Okay, well, that's all for Toad Circuit. Hopefully, you found that useful, helpful. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. We'll be doing Vanilla Lake 1 Reverse T next. That's all for this one. See you guys soon.